What's up, BOHS TV? Today is Tuesday the 21st. BHS TV, it's free and where you want to be. Just my friends and me, so you can watch what you need to see on the BHS TV. A master of production. News hitting harder than a football concussion. We stay repping purple, and we always stay around like a circle. And if you want the latest news, we're the ones you can trust in. A legacy will stay going till we start rusting. Producing TV is so easy for people like me. These flows breezy, dripped out, wearing Yeezy. I pick up your girl with lines, so cheesy. Rizzing her up, she gets queasy. We up to nothing cause we PG. Every Friday until July, there will be a community event where local artisans and business share their unique talents and goods with their communities. The Dover Artisans Market is from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. in Wilmington. On the first Wednesday of every month, the Stone Church will be hosting a funk night. Admission is $10 to $20 per person. Come down to 210 Main Street, Battleboro, Vermont to enjoy some funky music and hang out with friends. Now on to weather with Jack. So Wednesday, we have a high of 91 and low of 64. It's going to be sunny. We got a 83 for the high and a 58 low on Thursday. And then we got Friday with a high of 85 and a low of 58 and partly cloudy. We got some rain Saturday with a high of 84 and a low of 61. And on Sunday, we have a high of 81 and a low of 58. Back to the desk. The Brattleboro Area Farmers Market held its opening day on 2024 season on Saturday, May 4th, and will continue until the end of fall. On every Wednesday until June 5th, bring your children to the community meeting room on 224 Main Street for a rhyme time session. Drop your hardest bars with your kids, five and under, to better sharpen your rapping skills and diss everyone else there. Now on to the weekly spot with the Laco. On every Tuesday, Tango Tuesdays will be happening at 118 Elliott Street in Brattleboro. Come by for dance classes from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come as yourself with soft sole shoes or socks, but no outside shoes. You can contact sally.brett at tango at gmail.com for more information. Now on the sports with Tess. Hey, so the varsity baseball team today has a game away against Mount Anthony. It starts at 4.30. Then the girls varsity the cross has a game tomorrow against Burnburton and that's at seven o'clock. Moving on to track and field, today they have a meet away against Fairhaven at four o'clock. And then the boys varsity tennis tomorrow they have a home game tomorrow against Wetland at 4.30. And then Boys Ultimate Frisbee has a game today, but it's away, against Mill at 3.30. And then Softball is also today, but they have a away game against Mount Anthony at 4.30. Come out and see, on, and see them on, support them, be loud, and proud. Go Bears. Now back to the desk. This Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., Paul Rodigrew is leading a discussion on the speech given by Meg Mott on the unconstitutionally of the encamp encampment of the public land by people who are unhoused. Pop out and share your ideas on the subject. Wednesday, June 5th is Spring Fling at BHS, so make sure to come to school for some events on the football field. Now on the funny news with Chase. No. Oh. 
All the news with Chase. So last Tuesday in California, traffic came to a halt on a highway due to a bear posted up smack dab in the middle of the road. Just sitting there. Was it a fat bear? Yeah, it was a big old bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a big old brown bear. He just he just wasn't moving. He said taking his shoes. Was, Coming close. He said that he was enjoying the view. Oh, yeah. Probably was. He said right? in the, in the interview. Of the huh? When they interviewed him. Yeah, they actually sat him down. You know, he probably that bear probably got arrested. <laughs> now, how would you? How would you? How would you arrest a bear, bear of that <laughs> size, Chase? <laughs> I don't know. Multiple handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, probably. Back to the, back to the desk. On Tuesday, May 21st, at Mount Snow, there will be an Eco Summit that includes a full day of learning and networking. The d- price is $95. This Friday, June 21st, T-Pain, the rapper, will be having a concert at the Stone Pony venue in New Jersey. It's going to start from 6 p.m. and go until 10 p.m. Pop out to the Stone Church on Saturday, May 25th, to listen to the Wolfman Jack. Absolute bangers. On Thursday, May 22nd, come to 33 Main Street in Brattleboro for art and meditation. From 6 to 8.30 p.m., people 16 and older with any experience as me- meditators and or art makers are welcome. Now to World News and Blaze. Hello, everybody. I'm Blaze at World News. Now, to be honest with you, a lot of, lot of baloney news out there, so I had to put in some effort to find some good stuff, and I found something for you. Recently... Plans to execute a rewilding of 2,000 white rhinos have started all across Africa. Previously, they have been privately owned, such as just rich people, zoos, and other sorts of holding places. This is the first ever continent-wide rewilding. If you, know what, if you don't know what a rewilding is, that's uh, taking privately owned animals that should be in the wild and to putting them where they belong. Anyways... Here's a picture of a rhino that I drew. It's pretty fitting. I named him Ronald. Back to the desk. Every Friday, the River Gallery will be having figure drawing classes from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Prices per class are $45. Students will learn how to use pastels to create beautiful drawings. Now onto a special with Andreas. What's going on, BUHS TV? So on May 17th, uh, an underground rapper by the name of Ian, he dropped his first album of the year titled Valedictorian that features popular songs that have been recently blowing up. Uh, my personal opinion, this album is uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, my personal favorite track on this is uh, Hermes Sheets. Uh, I feel like he's on a great start and he's going to get really good uh, going forward in the year. Uh, back to the desk. On Thursday, May 25th, come down to BUHS to see our music department present its annual pop concert. It will be at 7 p.m. In, BU- in the BUHS Auditorium. Before the concert begins, the chorus directed by Julie Ackerman Hobus will open it up, and some of the featured songs are Back Pocket, House of Gold, Does Your Mother Know, Country Roads, and many more. There will be th- three more groups performing in this concert, and you will get a chance to see our former band, director Steve Rice, one last time. Make sure to come out and enjoy a night of music and support everyone. On Wednesday, May 22nd, come, uh, come learn how to plant a garden by Karen Horton at Patine Library on 16 South Main Street in Wilmington, Vermont. Bye-bye, BUHS. Bye-bye, BUHS. Bye-bye.